Is anyone paying attention that the same thing happened in Maui is about to happen in Florida, but with the hurricane? These people are making videos and it's been on the news that somehow diesel got into the regular gasoline source and people have been putting this stuff into their cars. They're making footage and they're making reports that they're scared that they're not going to be able to evacuate once these hurricanes come destroy everything that they have. I just put a list up yesterday about the cities that are participating with the smart city movement. You don't have to believe it. Your city is on the list, whether you like it or not, whether you can see it or not. These people are destroying stuff to rebuild something new. Maui just went to ashes. Florida is about to literally go underwater. Like, and it, it, it'll trick a lot of those people. Like it's normal, it's hurricane season. It, that's not normal to lose all your shit. It's not normal to thousands of people to lose their lives and get no help. That's not normal. Now people can't evacuate. This is turning into a trend. So people are dying by tragedy and can't evacuate. Maui was fire. These people are about to be drowned and can't leave because their car has diesel in it now. Y'all, prepare. This is happening. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. Plus, a fuel up ahead of uh, possible impacts from this storm. State leaders are now warning about contaminated fuel. And they say Sitco gasoline from the Port of Tampa could contain diesel fuel. Eight on your size, Beth Rousseau, joining us live with a way to know if you are affected by this. Good morning, Beth. Hey, Avery and Chris, a really unfortunate time for this to happen because filling up your cars and your generators is such a common part of storm prep. Now here at the Sitco at 92 and Falkenberg Road, they actually have signs posted on the pumps. Now state leaders say that if you fueled up at a station supplied by Sitco at Port Tampa after 10 a.m. on Saturday, there's a good chance that your gas is contaminated. At the Port of Tampa, a mistake could mean problems for many during prep for Adalia. Basically, it was just human error. They just, they, they put diesel in, in tanks that were supposed to be regular uh, gas. Families who fueled up at stations supplied by Sitco could have gasoline contaminated with diesel, according to leaders with the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. They say it's a potentially widespread issue. Sometimes that happens in these storms. The issue with the Port of Tampa is one that could complicate this. It has nothing to do with the storm, but it's happening right on the eve of the storm. More than two dozen stations are impacted by the error. At least 13 of them are here in the Tampa Bay area. If you fueled up at the locations after 10 o'clock Saturday morning, there's a chance your gas is contaminated. It could cause your cars or generators to stop working correctly. I want to ensure Floridians that we are coordinating here at the EOC with everyone from from petroleum retailers to the ports themselves to ensure that the disruption will not be widespread or prolonged and that residents can have a seamless can have seamless access to fuel. Stations have been notified and told to stop selling gas until the contaminated fuel is replaced and the tanks are cleaned. So back out here live at the sit go, it looks pretty busy and don't get me wrong. Trucks can get diesel fuel, but apart from that, no gasoline is being sold here. Now, if you think you might have gotten gas from one of the impacted stations, go ahead, go to the WFLA app. We have a complete list there of all the stations that are impacted and the next steps that you need to take moving forward. We're live in Hillsborough County this morning. Beth Russo, eat on your side. I want everybody to take a look at this. There's two, four, six, eight of these. These are bullocks. These are meant to bolt down, and there's eight of them. All right, this interstate right here, this is 408 East Toll. This is Central Florida, down in Orlando. At every intersection of this overpass, they have a pile of these right here. <coughs> And you can't tell me this is not made for blocking the road. Is this going to be a a wall, basically, where you can't get underneath it and can't get through from north to south? This whole stretch of 408 
literally from east to west uh, in Orlando here has got the power of bullocks here and honestly I think uh, they're going to seal this off <coughs> you they're right over there underneath the overpass they got a strip of concrete they just did underneath the overpass where they got bolt holes for the bull box to literally close off the overpass the, well the underpass right there there is literally enough for those and on the other side there's another eight every overpass has a pile of these breaking news in florida they tell residents there's a hurricane coming hurry hurry go to the gas station fill up your tanks now so the people go fill our tanks up only to later learn that the gas has been contaminated with diesel fuel you know what happens when you put diesel in a regular engine right it doesn't run very long very far so here comes the hurricane these people are going to try to evacuate They'll get on the interstates and highways and byways in Florida, and their vehicles will suddenly die. This is the ingredient for mass casualty effects. Here's my question. I'm wondering, since the authorities are aware of the gas contamination, what are they doing right now? Are they ready in many buses, thousands of buses, to get these people and their families out of harm's way? Oh, well, we watch a mass casualty event. Picture being stuck on the highway in the Florida summer heat, subtropical, 110 degrees with 100% humidity, with your child, your pet, your elderly mother, grandparents, or whatever, or just yourself. Now, let's see how Florida responds to avert the avoidable. These gas stations have contaminated gas. Diesel has been mixed with this gas by mistake amidst hurricane evacuations. If you fueled up here, you may want to be careful. These gas stations... Gain strength, hitting landfall in Florida, becoming a hurricane. They say in a problem, approximately Hurricane 2. But today, Washington Times, a whole bunch of newspapers, put out articles stating that there could be fuel contamination with regular gas and diesel fuel mixed together, which could damage cars, preventing them from evacuating Florida if need be. Hmm. A little suspicious. Fire in Maui. No water. No alarm. No nothing. Wouldn't allow the residents to evacuate. Blocked roadways from them evacuating. Now, fuel issues in Florida on the brink of a hurricane about to hit in about a day, a day and a half. Not suspicious. Nothing to see here, folks. Keep that in mind. First, let's talk about this storm. All the experts are saying this storm will be a category two or three by the time it hits the coast of Florida. I say bullshit. I was born and raised in Florida, and I've watched a lot of hurricanes come into the Gulf of Mexico. And every single time, the warm waters in the Gulf will strengthen these storms so quickly. And right now, the Gulf of Mexico is probably hotter than it's ever been. We just had the hottest month in recorded history. When that storm gets in the Gulf, it's fixing to crank up. Mark my words. This storm will be at least a Category 4 when it hits the coast of Florida on Wednesday. But what's concerning to me is the strange coincidence that right before this storm is about to hit, they have dozens of gas stations all across South Florida where the gasoline has been contaminated with diesel. It's almost like they don't want y'all to leave, man. Yo, I'm just so incredibly sick and tired of our government. And I think at this point, they know that the majority of its citizens are <clears throat> awake and aware to what they're doing because this 
It makes me wonder, honestly, if they, look, if they intentionally did something to the gasoline so that the people in Florida will literally be trapped and have to suffer through the hurricane that they probably made. So I'm at, like, I'm just wondering, like, what, at what point are we not, we just not going to do anything. And I know there's, you know, there's a strike on September 1st, but I think I, I don't know. There's like questions about that. So I just, I don't know what, like at what point, cause I think this, this is, this is obvious. This is so, this is so obvious. Good morning, everybody. So most of you guys know I'm from Florida. This goes out to all my Florida friends Guys, I told you the middle of September, middle of August, beginning to middle of September, things were going to happen. It's happening. Folks, I've uncovered mass crimes getting ready to happen. They've contaminated all the gas in almost every gas station of South Florida. I just posted the list. My contacts are sending me videos that I can't repost. I don't know what to do with it. I'm trying to figure out how to get it to files. They just won't upload. Um... They have got roadblocks getting ready to close the roads for evacuation, so you're blocked in. Folks, this is the plan here. It's unfolding in front of our eyes, I told you. Um, be very safe. Uh, I posted a list of the evacu all the gas stations, the one by my old house on Chiquita and Cape Coral, um, all of the gas stations on Pine Island, everything in, in, in that area, everything's contaminated. Um, they say the contamination is so bad vehicles are going to start breaking down on the road as soon as they start as soon as it starts getting into their system hunker down folks they're going to block you on the road <sighs> folks you're dealing with the wicked they've got to they've got to start wiping us down for the coming china thing um I hate to be the bearer of bad news, the only one to bring you this, but at least I'm doing it. So I'm going to give you as much information as I can, but please, folks, wake up. I want everybody to take a look at this. There's two, four, six, eight of these. These are bullocks. These are meant to bolt down, and there's eight of them. All right, this interstate right here, this is 408 East Toll. This is Central Florida down in Orlando at every intersection of this overpass they have a pile of these right here <laughs> and you can't tell me this is not made for blocking the road is this going to be a a wall basically where you can't get underneath it and can't get through from north to south this whole stretch of 408 literally from east to west uh, in Orlando here, it's got the pile of bullocks here, and honestly, I think uh, they're going to seal this off. <clears throat> you, they're right over there, underneath the overpass. They got a strip of concrete they just did underneath the overpass, where they got bull holes for the bullocks to literally close off the overpass. The, well, the underpass right there, there is literally enough for those. And on the other side, all Floridians, you, you need to be executing uh, your plans. Now, uh, this is going to be uh, a major hurricane. Uh, this is going to be a powerful hurricane, and this is absolutely going to impact uh, the state of Florida in many, many different ways. So Governor DeSantis shared with me, you know, his concerns about certain areas and making sure that we get the message out there for people to listen to their local officials and to evacuate. Uh, please make the appropriate accommodations and take the appropriate precautions. Uh, we'll have all these people there. They're going to be able to help. Uh, this is going to be a powerful hurricane, and this is absolutely going to impact uh, the state of Florida in many, many different ways. So please, please heed your uh, the directives from your local officials. Florida officials say gas stations supplied by the company Sitco may be contaminated with diesel after a mistake on Saturday. 
This comes at a time when a number of Floridians are fueling up ahead of the storm. The issue with the Port of Tampa is one that could complicate this. It has nothing to do with the storm, but it's happening right on the eve of the storm. More than two dozen stations are impacted by the error. At least 13 of them are here in the Tampa Bay area. If you fueled up at the locations after 10 o'clock Saturday morning, there's a chance your gas is contaminated. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services says that human error contaminated fuel for gas stations supplied by Sitco with diesel. Now, gas stations have to replace this fuel and clean their tanks before they can reopen. It could be a massive storm brewing right now. In fact, millions of Americans living in the southeastern United States and especially the state of Florida are bracing for this. Good evening, TikTok. After getting reports back from Florida, I have family down there. I got friends down there. I know news reporters down there. I've spoke to them. They said, man, listen. The, the gas is contaminated. It's contaminated. People that got gas, people that got ca gas cans and brought it home to fill their generators up for the hurricane when the lights go out, they're, they're complaining that their noses are bleeding, that they have um, headaches. They got, you know, migraines going on, that they're getting sick, you know, and the water, the, the gas there is contaminated. It's contaminated. It's all over the news. I mean, you know, you can't make this up. It's, it's, I don't put misinformation out. I'm telling you the truth. You know, number one, you have... You do have climate change going on because that's history repeating itself. We do have chemtrails and things like that going on and cloud seeding, okay? Because they did tell you that. They told us, all right? You know, they didn't hide that from us. They, they literally told us. Then you got other things going on, okay? But I'm going to tell you this right now. I believe that we're in the end times because only God can, God can create so much destruction or, you know, or are they trying to play God? But no. You know, Mayor Eric Adams took a trip to Israel. Do you know why people go to Israel? To go and forgive and forget, you know, their sins. And Israel is going to be the only place in the world that won't be touched in any destruction. That place will survive. And these are facts. Go look it up. I mean, look, read your Bible, okay? But right now, this is very serious. I want you guys to hang around. Don't leave. Watch till the end. And you'll see the pictures and everything I'm going to post to show you what's going on. Have a blessed night. My daughter's out there. My family's out there. I pray for them. I pray for all the people in Florida. You know, God bless them. You know, hopefully they're going to be okay. But right now, things aren't looking good because it looks like, you know, they don't know where, where how the water got, or the gas got contaminated. So, you know, listening to the governor there, you know, and, and listening to what he has to say, oh, somebody did this. Okay, but who did this? Sitco is the one that had the contaminated gas, and their gas stations are shut down. Is the government trying to trap people in Florida? Is the government trying to prevent you from escaping? Is the government trying to make your car stall and you get stuck in a major hurricane with catastrophic storm surge and a depopulation attempt? The major hurricane is going to strike northwestern Florida, uh, just south of Tallahassee, and uh, push in life-threatening storm surge, widespread wind damage, winds of 110 to potentially 120 miles per hour, strong coastal flooding and widespread wind damage. And just as these people are trying to prepare, just as these people are trying to get out and evacuate, unfortunately or conveniently, gas stations, gas has been contaminated with diesel fuel, potentially ruining engines, installing out cars and leaving thousands of tens of thousands of people stranded in Florida, just as they're trying to evacuate from this hurricane. Is the government trying to depopulate? Is the government trying to uh, have some kind of catastrophic death event take place like what happened in Maui where people were barricaded, roads were blocked, and people incinerated to death in the fires.